Well, today we ran a bore underneath the road for our new water line. So I'll show you here. Water line underneath the road here. I had to bore it. Let's see if I can show you how we made that happen. So now we have our auger stuff through our casing. We're starting to dig the bore pit and uh, dig a pit that's five foot wide, 30 foot long. Since we're doing a water line, it's not real deep. So we're, we don't need a real big or wide pit, but that has to be 30 feet long at least to accept the boring machine in the tracks. So we're getting that dug right now. Now once we get the hole excavated, we put some stone in the bottom, get it leveled out. So it gives us a nice level working area. Here we are setting the tracks, getting it straightened out, getting it ready to go. Once we get all set up, we set our auger down there and casing and start drilling. It's kind of a long process, so I just sped it up. Start to finish, once we get the machine set and started, it takes about three hours to drill the two sections. We had two 20 foot sections of pipe we needed to drill under the road. You drill the first 20 foot, back the machine up, set another 20 foot section, weld the two together, continue on. This one's only 40 feet, you can continue doing it you know, as long as it needs to be, another 60, 80, 100 plus feet. But, uh, so this one, 40 feet took us about three hours once we actually had the machine set up of actual drilling. So. So we got both of them through. We're just disconnecting the machine. We're gonna back it all the way up. To the first, uh, first section of track, that's where we store it. Once we get it back there, we'll start unbolting all the tracks and getting them pulled back out of the ground. And start with the water line. Straight up. Let him come this way a little bit. Come this way. We got our casing stuff through. Machine's out of the hole, everything's cleaned up. Tomorrow we'll run our pipe through. Let's see what both ends of the board casing on. 